What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. And today I'm gonna to teach you guys how to flip a kayak. No, 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 not what you're thinking at all. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna buy this used kayak from my neighbor, I'm gonna fix it up, show you guys what I do, and then turn around and sell it for a profit. Let's get into it. So my neighbors have had this kayak sitting on their side yard for some time, and I asked her what she wanted to do with it. She said it was just too big, too heavy. They got it used from an outfitter that was selling off the rentals. And uh, it seemed like it was in pretty good shape, just a little dirty, a little dusty. The bungees are all stretched out. But because of that, she's gonna give it to me for a good deal. I talked her down to 300 bucks. And what I'm gonna attempt to do is clean it up, put some new seats on it, dial it in, and show you guys what I do, and then turn around and sell it for a profit. So a couple of things I look for first is one, does it have water in it? It's been sitting outside. So when I pick it up, how much water is in the hole? This will help me know if there's any cracks or any weird things. A little bit of water is okay. A lot of bit of water, no bueno. All right, I pick it up. I feel a little bit of water in there, but not a ton. Which means there's probably no holes. So I'm looking at the boat and I'm noticing a lot of stains from all this, you know, leaves and stuff and then sitting in the rain. But I don't see anything around the scuppers that caused me any concern. Obviously, I'll get this cleaned up. Ooh, look at that. Oh man, on each side, look at that. That's a big old crack. It's a stress fracture. It's not even all the way through, but it's starting. Dang, if I'd have saw that, I would have offered her less. Oh well, that's part of the deal when you're buying used. You don't see it all right off the surface. So it's a good idea to give the boat a really good once over. Darn it, that's all right. We'll see if we can't uh, fix that up, get that looking good. And uh, first thing we're gonna do is let's just get some simple green and a rag and clean this thing up so we know what we're up against. The first thing to do is try to get this dirt and grime. Plastic kayaks, kind of like our skin, they have pores. And as they get dirt in them, they kind of open those pores up and the dirt gets really ingrained. So I like to use a scrub brush and really get in there deep and try to open up those pores and scrub the dirt out as best I can. Just wrapped up my preliminary cleaning here and what i was hoping to do is show you guys how easily it cleaned up and how good it looked when i was done but instead i found out that i made some mistakes buying this boat i'm going to show you guys so we can all learn from my stupidity here i'm going to show you what to look for when you're looking for a used kayak because i've seen this happen to so many people and i didn't think it was going to happen to me on this boat i thought i knew exactly what i was getting and it was a super good deal but i didn't take the time to look for these things. So let us let me show you. So like I told you, I did the lift test to see how much water was in it and there was hardly any water and it had been sitting outside, but that didn't tell the whole story. So polyethylene is similar to like, have you ever seen those plastic slides, you know, playgrounds have, and sometimes they get a little crispy and a little cracked along the edges from being out in the sun. Well, that's exactly what we got going on here. Is here's a kayak that's been living outside and although it's not too sun faded, you see this? It got brittle spots in some of the angles, some of the, the areas where the kayak flexes around. So it's got a real stiff point here where the handle is and then a soft point here where it's flexing. And that's what I'm noticing throughout the boat is you've got little hairline cracks forming. They're not all the way through the plastic, but they're enough to have me concerned and enough that most people wouldn't want to buy a boat if it had these cracks. So the good news is it's repairable it's polyethylene so i'll be able to get in there and i'll be able to weld some of this up and clean this up the downside is it definitely brings the boat's value down because you just can't sell the boat without disclosing that it had some repairs so total i found let's see i found one spot two spots for sure where was the other spot oh here we go up in the front deck here a couple of more spots where it's uh you know, I could probably let it slide and just note it because it's not leaking, but I'm gonna go ahead and just do the repair and show you guys what it looks like to do a little plastic welding on this guy. And then we'll put some new bungees on it, new seats. It'll still be totally serviceable and somebody will have a great time with this kayak when we're done with it. So my next stop is we're gonna take the kayak, throw it on the car and head over to the local kayak shop, Headwaters Adventure Company here in town, and uh, see if they've got some bungees and some other parts in stock to fix this thing up. So let's go. Made it down to Headwaters Adventure Company. Let's go see what these guys are up to. What's up, man? What's going on? 
You want to help me with the project? Yeah. Look what I got here. I see that. I found this in my neighbor's yard. And I'm going to attempt to flip it. Flip it. Like sell it and make some money. Gotcha. Not on the water. No, no, no. Okay. No. But it's got some cracks that I found. I wanted you to have a look at it and see what you think. See if they need to be addressed or what we should do. Well, if there's cracks, it should probably be addressed. All right. Well, let me show you. Nice one. Right here. Okay. Little tiny bit started right here. I think this is kind of one right there. And then right here and right here are the real bad ones. I prefer. Think we can seal it? Oh, we'll seal it. So, you might just look a little lumpy. Yeah, that's kind of what I figured. Corners are hard. Yeah. All right, well, let's get to it. Yeah, get rid of all that old bungee. You guys have bungee in stock here? Yes, sir. I figured you would. Oh, Matt found another one. Look at that, right around the scupper. Guys, this is getting worse. This is an example of why not to buy a used kayak right here. This kayak's not even that old, man. Sun does a lot of damage. Yeah, that's one thing. If you guys have a kayak, you got to keep them out of the sun. Polyethylene just gets beat up in the sun. Let's flip it over and check it out, too. There's the bottom side. Give these scuffers a check. It's all right. Bottom's all right. Looks good. All right. So the deck's above water, anyways. We'll plastic weld it, make it look a little more official. All right. So you guys got some bungee I can buy by the foot. How much is that? Thirty-five cents a foot. Cheap upgrade. Yeah, small, small tank well, so you shouldn't need much. All right, cool. And then you guys had a couple of feel-free clip-in seats here. Those will work fine. Those are uh, seventy-nine. Okay. Piece. And then I'm going to get some 303 around here because this is the number one thing you can do to make a kayak at least have perceived value. It also, the protection, if you use this stuff throughout the kayak's life, you won't get the cracks that we're going to be dealing with. So definitely recommend this stuff. All right, so Matt has a little, little bit of yellow, thankfully. And uh, this is a plastic welder we're going to use. We're going to heat that thing up. And then basically, we'll just do like a quick clinic on how to uh, weld up some cracks. Good. Right, we're just gonna go ahead and run some new bungee here in the tank well. The bungee is a really cheap way to make the kayak look newer. You know, what, what did I spend? Three dollars on bungee? And it'll make the whole whole thing look nice and fresh. You know, especially with these sit-on tops, there's not a whole lot to them. So new seats, a new bungee, that and some 303 and the whole thing will look like brand new again. Sliding knots up they stretch out, it can snug them up there. Perfect. Here's another little hack you can do. You can uh, take your blowtorch and see all this white stuff that comes from just abrasion? If I take the blowtorch and kind of melt the surface, you can see it smooth right out. Basically, after you get your hot iron, it comes with tubular plastic. You could also get this from other dealers, but it'll feed into the top of this, heat it up on the inside, and push hot plastic out the bottom. The big idea here is that you need to melt the boat. And I know that doesn't sound like a good thing, but you need to melt the boat to get it ready to accept the plastic you're putting in. If you just put plastic over the top, it can very easily peel off and it doesn't fix the crack, it just covers it. So you need to work it in to actually be a part of the crack till there is no more crack. All right, let's see it. These ones are gonna be a bit harder because they're in edges. And so edges are really hard just because this is a flat foot. I'm sure they have other pieces that uh, can attach to this and actually make angles a little bit easier, but this is all I've ever used. So kind of as you're working that crack and you're melting around it as well as the crack itself, you want to get in there, the left side, the right side, and right down the middle. And once that gets all nice and hot, you start pushing this piece through and now you've got brand new stuff that's going to cool and become a part of the old stuff and for something like this 
looks better <laughs> after it's done. But at first you just want to make sure that you are getting the crack itself and feeding the new plastic in. So it turns into one piece. Oh, that's coming out smooth. It'll definitely, you know, you'll see it there, but at least we know it'll be secure and whoever buys this boat uh, won't have any issues with that moving forward. So. so I'll let Matt do his thing over here with the plastic welder. And if you want to know the key to winning over your kayak shop, you got to bring them burritos. Here you go, Matt. Thank you. Okay, so here's the finished product. Matt's got me all welded up. We got the new bungees installed on the front, the new seats installed, new bungee in the rear tank well. It came out really, really good. I'm super happy. Some family's gonna be really stoked, or a couple is gonna be really stoked on this boat this summer. You can see all the spots we found that we had to weld. I could have cleaned those up a little bit more and I probably will just sand them down a little bit, but we got it most of the way there. I'm really happy with how it all came out. It will be structural and work well for at least a few more years to come. So fast forward a month and I'm here at Whiskey Town Lake. I made the decision to not sell the boat. I just didn't feel right about it. Didn't feel right about trying to make money on it, especially. Um, so I decided to go a different route. I put a note out on the Headwaters Yak Life group on Facebook, which is a, a group that we run through the channel, and just asked if there was anybody looking to get into paddle sports in the North State that was interested in a tandem. And I found a guy. It's him, his wife, and his service dog. He's an Air Force veteran, a super excited to get into paddling. He's rented kayaks out here a few times at Whiskey Town, and he jumped on the opportunity. I'm excited to pass it on to a good home. It sounds like it's really going to help them out, get them on the water this summer. So let's go meet up with them and uh, we're going to give away a kayak today. Hey guys, I want to introduce you to Dave, Kathy, Hi. and the service dog Diamond. They're going to be the proud new owners of the uh, the Tribe Tandem. Yeah. What do you guys think of your new boat? Yeah. Uh, it looks great. It it's really so does. much fun. Thank you so much. Oh, well. totally welcome. I'm excited to see you guys out here all summer long. Yeah. What do you think, Diamond? You gonna get in there? Good boy. Okay, maiden voyage. Let's try it out here. There we go. All right. Awesome, you guys. Right, they're all loaded up with their new boat. That was a successful mission. Dave, Diamond, and Kathy are so pumped. Um, they're gonna get hooked up with the Shasta Paddlers, come join them out here for sunset paddles, full moon paddles. Very, very cool. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. I sure enjoyed making it. I feel so much better giving that boat away than I ever would have selling it. So happy ending for everyone. And uh, yeah, hopefully we all learned something on that one. All right, until next time, you guys, this is Dan wishing you happy paddling. We'll see you on the next one.